Hello YouTubers, Custom Comments here with another review and today we will be reviewing the DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys Clayface and before we go on with the review I just want to say that I do have a lot going on in my life at the time and as you can, some of you can all see that I have posted uh, a photo of my pops on uh, Instagram that he's passed away he passed away Monday and um, of course my Facebook and got hacked so I just thought I'd do a quick review to take my mind off of things and just to change the mood man so I just want to share some time with my fellow YouTubers and the toy community to do a quick simple review okay alright so now let's take a look at this clay face yes I know of course you can see I already took him out the box so um, and I'll show you a few things that we have done to him really cool didn't hit me right out the package I was even thinking about selling them but me and my girl um, we looked at some something to enhance him a little bit so we done some settled things not much um, all the faces on here the sculpted faces she went um, and done the teeth as you can see I'll zoom in here Let's zoom in right here and also done darken the uh, incest uh, eyes and sort of darken the mouth a little bit just to give it more separation from all of this sorry about that from all of this brown so we've done that to each of the faces as you can see and I think that make highlights that a whole lot better and in the comments he his mouth had strands, you know, like, you know, on the same thing like Godzilla, them strands. We, he got some under his teeth. So I'll highlight them a little bit to make this the same as, you know, whatever he's made up out of here has strands going up inside his mouth. Just to uh, get at more detail. It's very subtle what we've done because it's not much. He, he, he got orange. Uh, details in them a little bit so we didn't want to do too much so most definitely want to highlight the faces okay I really like that and he has some hands I highlighted that by painting them a little bit lighter just to separate that from all the other brown around so did the arms here and I think he has one here one across here as you can see okay but yeah very subtle detailing lots of faces though now you can really see them by darkening the eyes and the mouth. I think you can see that pretty well now. Okay. So, so this guy is pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. All right. So let's take him off the lazy Susan. We can go over his calling card. Or whatever and uh, we know the base he comes with no accessories we'll just say a calling card okay okay of course this is the calling card hey okay. right here so if you want to pause it to read it please do so, so get that clear 
All right. So now we will take a closer look at Clayface. All right, not much articulation, but like I said, the scope work is just immaculate. The head, he can go side to side a little bit. Turn, look up just a hair. Look down, you see. Okay, of course the mouth, which looks very good. Has the huge hinges. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get my other leanings because I can't get this big boy in the camera, all of them. Just be right back. All right, change the lens out. Now we can get his all of him in the camera. So yeah, this scope man is just crazy. But you see the huge hinges. Yes, it does show a gap. Okay, some people might not like that, but it's okay with me. But when you pose them and sit them on the shelf, you, you probably won't have them in a position where it shows them gaps. Okay. The elbow is about non-existent. You get a little twist right here. Let's try to uh, zoom in on that. You get a little twist right here. Uh, well, I'm going to break it, break it. Let's see if the thing go all the way around. And yes, it just went all the way around. <laughs> okay. So... Yeah, we break it, we break it. But you're not gonna get much bend. Get that, that. But as you see, we did twist this thing all the way around. I thought I did. Yeah, there we go. All the way around, you get a big hinge. Okay, let's get this back. You get a big hinge hand. Okay twist that all the way around no almost all the way around that big that gets in the way of this scope right here I almost get it all the way around okay same thing with this side okay upper torso you can twist he bends over pretty good good amount okay he goes back and you see a gap okay legs whoa what look at that you see the joints right there but yeah kick up <laughs> kick up uh single knee bend it's not the way single knee bend so that ain't bad uh, you get a, a twist up here and a twist at the knee okay and of course you see he's going side to side all right and so that's the lower part you also get this upper torso but I don't want to mess up this up here. So I just, that's enough for me using right here. Okay. All right, so. Not bad. It's mainly for the scope, which is good enough for me. You know, plenty good enough for me. Uh, you get a, a little um, shoulder butterfly very little as you can see that okay but yes it's mainly for the scope I believe but he is a nice clay face very nice clay face Let's see this is under his feet he get pig holes so I haven't had a problem with him standing you just have him position right and he'll stand just fine but yeah I think I'll end up keeping him he's pretty cool okay so, so now yeah cause moving his upper torso it's gonna make this hard to get back in place 
but you can move it. it yeah, you can move it. Or bang, it'll get out of place position real easy and it'll be sort of hard to get back. But you do have upper torso mover and it's lower waist. So, but yes, I like this clay face. Use a ton of matte spray to finally get that shine off of them because just don't like that shine. That makes them look cheap. My lights probably make them shine more than what he really is, but he really looks a whole lot better since I matted them out and just highlight a few of the details. Okay, so now let's get ready for the fun part and see how this dude stacks up with other figures with size comparisons, okay? So stay tuned. All right, and here he is with the fallen Saigor, the ape, okay? And as you can see, I end up painting one of the eyes, make one a regular eye. I got that idea off of Instagram by Mr. James Burrow great customizer and as you can see I might have to do it over here. look might look a little cross-eyed I think that looks pretty dope I started making both uh, making both red I thought I'd make one a regular eye so that's how so that's how they compare with each other look good and we'll put them over here Let's get a uh, Titan Joker. I love this figure, man. And as you can see, look at that. Let's go ahead and move Cygore completely out of the way. <laughs> Gracious. Let's see. All right, now there's the Titan Joker. Dope. Figure I love this Titan Joker, which I've uh, about repaint the whole thing because certain areas that he had real dark, the shading just was crazy. It was just too dark here, so I just blended everything in better. Like the DC uh, collectibles, uh, did the blood, like bones protruding out blood. Of course, he didn't have blood. Same way the elbows, so I did that in his back. And of course, you all saw the re review with the boils and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, just to make him disgusting. And he had uh, sculpted cuts in his his uh, legs. So of course, just went in there and put some blood paint in that. Just to bring out a lot more details. But I love this Titan Joker, man. This is a dope figure, man. Just big as hell. As you see, <laughs> the size between them two. All right, let's throw Devastator in here. We have came a long way from the Devastator. This will be one of the biggest figures at one time. <laughs> Dang. All right. So this Devastator, that Titan Joker is dope. All right, now let's bring one of my favorite Builder figures. Big Bang. Let's get this one back a little bit. You see Big Bang, and we'll get King Shark in here. This, this is just amazing, man, with McFarlane is throwing out. McFarlane is kicking tail, man. Yes, he has QC issues, but overall, he's just dominating toy companies. Okay? See how they stack up. Alright, we'll move King Shark back here. And we'll go ahead and throw. We'll go ahead and throw Lobo. You see how they compare? Okay. Just so much plastic, man. Okay. 
Uh, we'll throw in a future state Batman. Okay. And now let's throw in the spawn clown. Okay. <laughs> and that's how it compares with him. All right. Let's throw in a Marvel Legends Hulk from 80th Anniversary mode. Well, a lot, making a lot of these Hulks, man. And that's how he stacks up with him. He is bigger than the Hulk. Let's see if we can get this down here a little bit. All right, okay. Let's throw in a SH Figarts Avengers Hulk. Okay, you see Clayface is much bigger. This is awesome. I can load this whole table up with falling stuff, man. It's just, he's killing it, man. That Titan Joker is just one for the books. I know a lot of people, the DC Collectibles is the most infinitive Titan Joker, but still yet, it's a dope piece, man. Okay. So... That will be the conclusion of Clayface. Pretty cool figure. Like him a lot. Lots of details. Just take a little bit of getting some of that detail out. And but uh pretty cool figure, man. I like him. Nice to have him in the collection. And I want to give thanks to all my subscribers. We'll well over 3,000 now. So uh just want to show appreciation for that. And um and just uh tell you how grateful and thankful i am and tell you all of you life is not always easy you know it comes a lot of bumps and bruises in your path but uh depending on how your foundation was started with your parents which mine was pretty cool man can't complain it, it, it makes you where you can get through anything, you know, learn it from a dad. So I just want to show gratitude to my subscribers, even non-subscribers that even watch re my reviews. People who comment, I love interacting with all of you. And if I hadn't got back with you, please forgive me. Got a lot going on in my life right now. So, um... I'm sorry for that, but I'll make sure to uh, keep you posted and uh, try to keep getting these reviews out, okay? So if you guys got any questions or requests, make sure to hit me up in the comments or you can hit me up on Instagram and I will be sure to get back with you, all right? Take care, God bless, be safe, and be happy, okay? Peace.